So welcome to this video tutorial. In this tutorial I'd like to show you how easy it is to create a website via your uh, SAP workflows. Okay. So first of all we create a new SAP. Let's say we like to create a website when we move a card in Trello from the customer list to create website in the cloud list. Okay, so I've created this list here in my Trello account and then I search for Trello. Okay, then I choose a trigger. So the trigger is when I move a card to a list. Okay, I sign into my Trello account, continue. Then I have to choose the board. I also choose the list. So the list is create a website in cloud this list okay so there is no card to set up uh, an example now so we have to create one and I have built up some uh, custom fields so if you do not have the power ups activated for custom fields please add power ups custom fields and then you can create custom fields and then I fill in a first name, and a last name, and an email, and a prefix. So this is for the subdomain that we create to install the website. Okay, so this can be in this example root charts. The mandatory fields are only email and prefix. Okay, so move it to the create website in the cloud list. Then I have the card here. Okay, continue. So now I can set it up with the fields. The next tab I uh, search for is WP Website Creator. Okay. Then choose the action new website on WP Website Creator Cloud. Okay. Continue. Log in. So you have to log in with your username and your password, the normal username and password of your WP Website Creator uh, account, okay? Okay, now we're logged in and now we relate the fields from the Trello card to create a website. First of all is the, the client email. So we search for the email, okay. Then your own agency email. Then the design ID, which theme you like to install. So you can find the design IDs in this theme section or also here in view all themes, okay. As long as you are a free member, please click on free membership and then you can see the free themes you can install. Then you choose the ID and fill it in here. Okay. Then the prefix comes from the Trello card because the prefix is dynamically. It's always another one for another customer. Then you can choose the language. For sure you always can use 
um, a custom fields from your Trello card. So if you have a custom field inside your Trello card language, uh, you can also relate uh, a Trello card custom field to this language field, okay? You only have to be sure that you name it similar to this, okay? And also with the design ID, so you can pick a design ID from our website. You can also create a drop-down field in your Trello with the IDs and relate the field from Trello uh, to this uh, design ID field with all the design IDs you find here. If you are a paid membership, you have a lot of websites to install. Okay? But for this example now, I pick one and fill it in here, one ID. Then you can choose the first and the last name. Then click on continue. So now the first workflow is finished. We turn it on. Okay, and now we have to create another uh, tab because when the website is created, we like to grab the data, so the login username, the login password, the domain, and so on from WP Website Creator. So create a tab. Search for WP Website Creator once again. Then choose a trigger, get new website data. Continue. Log in with your credential. Test the trigger. Okay, and now relate all the fields to the next step. And the next step in this case should be an email for me. Email by Zapier. Okay, so I like to send an email to the website owner, to the new website owner, with the login URL and with the login credentials. Okay, so we send it to the customer email. The subject, your new website, something like that. You can set up this email as you like, but these are the important fields. Okay, and then go to continue. We don't have to make a test, we skip it. And we turn the tab on. Now we have two uh, tabs. So Please make one thing sure, because we set up this Trello tab with a card. With a specific card, the test card. So that means if I move another card to this list, uh, the website creation failed. Okay, So we have to clear it and then you can see any card and this is what we like to have. Okay, and now let's test it. So let's say we have a new customer and the first name is Robert. The last name is Crudo. The email is Crudo at Neymar.com, so I take one of mine and then the prefix is crudo. Okay, so I save the card. And now when I move the card to the list create website, Okay, and now we wait 10 minutes. It takes 
10 minutes to create a website on our cloud or also on your server and after 10 minutes WP website creator sends the webhook to Zapier and your second workflow grab the credentials to send an email so we have to wait I'll be back soon okay 10 minutes later I'll be back and as you can see we have the second workflow finished so the website data has been sent to uh, the customer okay when you go to your back end at WP website creator you can find all your installed websites um, under my uh, created websites okay and you can find uh, this button here uh, if you click on reset this website for Zapier automation that means that if you click uh, this button you can send again um, the Zapier hook so the workflow for sending an email or something else starts again okay that's all now your website is created uh, your customer has an email with the credentials you can find the website here and you can log in to this website with these credentials okay thank you